how you think about things and what your mental approach is matters. Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense. And I've ran into this concept before, but I've been reading a book recently, uh, and in the beginning it talked about a fixed mindset versus a growth mindset. And in the book they addressed it a little bit differently than how I'm gonna address it. However, I think it's worth considering and thinking about. So the basic two dichotomies are, on one hand, one hand you have a fixed mindset, right? Things are the way they are, I'm as smart as I'm gonna be, when I see challenges, and this is the, the big part that I think is helpful, I, it's a test. I either pass the test because I have what it takes, or I fail the test because I don't have what it takes. A fixed mindset. Most of us, by default, probably fall into the fixed mindset category. And I certainly have about certain things in my life. Uh, the other one would be a growth mindset, right? which primarily views challenges as a way to grow and improve. So I get to a challenge and I meet the challenge and I'm able to uh, grow and improve through the challenge. The challenge helps me grow into a more proficient shooter, a better person, et cetera, et cetera. And, and those I think are really good big dichotomies. Sorry, I'm in the middle of a lift here. Those are really good dichotomies for how to look at the world, right? And, and how to approach the world and your life in general. Uh, I don't wanna give anything away here, so I'll, I'm just gonna say I was in a class with an instructor once, very good instructor, and I remember him telling us, uh, hey, he gave us this test that most of us failed, and I failed it and I was super mad, and he said, failure should feel good. Failure should feel good, because then you know where you need to grow, right? And I remember sitting there think, feeling like crap and thinking, this doesn't feel good. I don't feel good at all. I'm gonna go home and do a bunch more dry fire so I never get here again, right? I remember being mad about it. But in some ways, I was fulfilling what he was saying, right? So I, I was growing, right? But I, I think that's an important way to look at it. When I, I've gone to a lot of gun classes, and when I go to gun classes, I, for my first, I don't know, 80% of my gun classes, I definitely had the fixed mindset mentality. I'm gonna go into this class, and this class is a test. I remember, like prepping for classes, being like, I'm gonna, I gotta go to this class and I gotta, I gotta perform, I gotta be good, it's a test. And I'm either gonna meet it or I'm not, right? That's how I looked at tests, and, uh, classes. And I thought that was a good way to look at it. It's embarrassing to admit on the internet, but that, that's what it is, right? I thought that that was a, pro, a good way to look at it. And now as I've taken more and grown more, I look at it as like, you know what? I'm gonna show up to this class, I'm gonna learn as much as I can. There's gonna be things I don't do well that's why I'm going to the class, to learn these things that I don't do well. I know I don't know that. That's why I'm going to pay money and take time to learn that so that I can do it better, right? And you can apply this to just about anything in your life, but I think that's an important way to look at it. Do you have a growth mindset or a fixed mindset? If you have a fixed mindset, you are holding yourself back as a shooter. That, that's just the way it is. The biggest barrier to your success is you because you can't get out of your own head and I've been here to, to improve because you are so preoccupied with how good you are or how good you think you should be and how you didn't match up to whatever expectation you set for yourself and then you are crushed and consumed with that failure and you're unable to grow past it. Right? I've been there, I know people who have been there, I've had people take my classes who I see there. Right? And I think it's important to be able to recognize that and say, wait a second, th this, isn't, this isn't what we should be doing. I, I don't need to be concerned with uh, failing, or, or failing or succeeding here in a class. Right? I, an instructor told me recently uh, that the, the classroom is your lab. If you're, gonna, if you're gonna fail, fail here because it's free. Bullet hit the berm, no big deal, right? This is, this is the place to, to not be as good as you wanna be. And, and I think that's an important way to look at it. We need to grow through the challenges. We go to class, we learn things, and we're looking to grow. You go out to practice today, and you're learning things, and you did or did not hit your time for your build drill, or whatever you're doing, and you're looking at that as an opportunity to grow, right? And, and you can quit, you can take yourself out of it, you take your ego out of it, and you quit being so preoccupied with whether or not you failed or succeeded, right? And you start thinking, that is a challenge I need to grow through. And I would even argue that extends to real things in life, okay? 
So if something real ever happens and you have to pull out your gun to save your life, that may or may not go the way you want it, right? Now, hopefully it doesn't go really bad, right? Like someone dies that shouldn't or something like that. But I think you need to look at those as growth opportunities. Why do you think people in the military and police organizations do after action reports? After real life events where people die, they do after action reports. Why? To grow through in part, to grow through that opportunity, right? To be like, okay, this happened. We're gonna learn some lessons from it and we're gonna move on. We're gonna grow through it. We're all still alive. So how can we grow from that? And I think that's an important way to look at it. So I would encourage you, if you have a fixed mindset to one, recognize it. Hey, I have a fixed mindset. That's a problem. I'm holding myself back. And the problem with you fixed mindset people, and again, I put myself in this category at, time, at times, is that you think that you're being responsible, right? You oldest children, you. You think, oh, I'm, I'm being responsible and I'm, I'm, I'm achieving and I'm holding myself to a standard and I'm really accomplishing instead of being free to take your ego out of it and grow through it, okay? So if you're in that, recognize it and then shift to a growth mindset and say, I'm meeting challenges and I'm looking at them as opportunities to grow. Sounds super corny, sounds super business booky, but I'm telling you, the way you look at it matters. And you talk to any high level performer in anything, shooting, professional athletes, whatever, and they're gonna tell you one of the biggest struggles is themselves and getting out of their own way. Get out of your own way, allow yourself to grow, allow yourself to fail, that failure should feel good so that you can grow. Hope that's helpful. Do brave deeds and endure.